Hello everyone, welcome back to uh, what I think is episode number 5. Um, it's either 5 or... I believe it's 5. Anyway, what we're doing today is um, going back into doing quests. I have done some grinding off camera. I'm not an extremely high level, I'm like level 8 to 9 with most of my characters. Um, and they've learned some new abilities, so I'll be showing them off soon. But I'm low on cash, as you can see. I've spent money on some good weapons. Uh, they're really expensive, extremely, extremely expensive. You get about 2,000 gil from a random battle, and uh, costs way more than that sometimes to buy a weapon. Um, so I need money. How are we going to do that? Well, we're going to send someone out on a dispatch mission. My whole class's ancient studies homework was stolen. If we had some ancient object, we could do it again. Please help. Babins from the fourth grade swords. And we get some homework as a reward. And we need an ancient medal. So we have an ancient medal. But, uh, so these are all the people we can send out on it. And let's see, Domi, you can go. You can do it. Yes, five days. Now we have um, seven clan members. And normally in a battle we can only use six. So having one out on a mission is just fine. So your girl in love is, uh, I've got a new boyfriend. He's a brave knight with chestnut hair. Could you tell our fortune with the white thread? We need white thread to be able to do that, and we do not have that. And we also need a white mage, which that's just a matter of changing someone's job. But I, I don't have a white thread. So I want to do, here, free sprom. One of the Borzoi Capos, which I guess is uh, borrowed from Mafia term terms, is in the mountain town of Sprom. Keep an eye on him until we and the Sprom watch are ready. We can win the battle. We get a, a two-handed sword and we get a um, katana from it. What do we want to bring? We can bring the sprinkler. I mean, which is... I guess we'll do that. Why not? And then just hope they don't have someone who can cast ice magic. What will the lobby against silence? That we can deal with that. Okay, so while we're um, in the battle, I'll show you the changes that some of our our people have gone through. Mariette is now a red mage temporarily. Uh, I don't know what direction I want to take her yet, but at the moment I've got her learning fire and cure. And, um, oh, for the... She knows Shadow Stick as a fencer. And then here, boost is useful because it does just boost her damage, doesn't matter what job she is. Uh, aim at the legs, blackout is always useful, block arrows is useful. So, so far so good. Um, but she is able to become an elementalist or learn more fencer abilities or become a sniper. And those are all very fun things. So it's, it's difficult. There's just a lot of directions she could go in. Magic or more offensive. Uh, like melee combat wise or ranged or what have you. And Shadow Stick wasn't terrible. Um, it's just, you know, the only fencer ability we have. And elementalist abilities are awesome because they almost all do a status effect in addition to uh, damage. So that might be what I want to go for next but i also need to collect more uh, rapiers because those are her weapons of choice and cure uh, it's a white mage ability as well as a red mage ability so it's, she technically has one ability that counts for white mage it's just kind of useful to have just to unlock more jobs neville is a beast master now so he can use control to control these types of monsters if we encounter them that's not going to be any use until later on. Um, so, I, But I also want to tear immunity, this support ability, resistance to some status ailments. So there's a few status ailments. It doesn't specify which ones, but we could look it up if we wanted to on the wiki or something. Um, there's some status ailments that he won't uh, suffer from. And then I had him use white magic as his secondary just because he can cast cure. Um, but he's also got a bunch of... Uh, black magic spells which I think I will give him that because 
who else knows some healing spells? Obviously, uh, Mariette knows Cure. I'm gonna move him back, by the way. And Schutmeyer now does too. I changed him to become a bishop. Uh, can I... Can't examine that... Uh, here, bishop. Healing, aiding, and offensive magic. So it's... It's their... Um, the Banga uh, race, their magic class, essentially. So he knows Cura, and, or he's learning Cura, which is just an upgraded form of Cure. An Arrow, which does air damage, wind damage, however you want to call it. He doesn't know much else. And for his Monk tech, uh, he's got Air Render. That's um, damage at a distance is most useful for him. So he's going somewhere, I don't know where, but I wanted to him to learn some more abilities. Thought it would be useful. Um, but yeah, you can see that even as a bishop, his weapon attack is higher than his magic power. So we might end up changing him to uh, like a Templar here. Strong with weapons and enhancement magic. So we'll see where that goes. I tend to like having them be able to use air render, but maybe we'll keep him as uh, being able to use the bishop abilities as a secondary. So we'll keep him. Yenke is uh, now a fighter. He was a soldier. So he still, well, he still has battle tech available to him. I just changed it so he can do that. So he can do first aid to heal himself. Speed break and he's got shield bearer. Which lets him keep a shield in this class. Or he's wielding blades. Um, and then his normal abilities here, rush. It uh, knocks a target back one square, which it's it seems really lame. But if you have an enemy that does counter, and they're a melee attack uh, class, obviously if you knock them back, they're knocked out of range, they can't counter attack you. So that could be useful. Uh, secondary for rush is if you knock them off a cliff, I guess they can take extra damage if they fall down. Um, and now he's learning beatdown. Low hit rate, but very damaging. It's probably not going to be very useful. Uh, let's face it, but we will try it out. And an air render, we know what that does. It's good, high damage. And he's got a very high weapon attack. And that's, I think it's based off of weapon attack and not magic uh, attack. Mont Blanc is now a gunner. He, we, we have a mithril gun. I don't remember how we got it. I think just from a random battle. Um, so he can learn a combo ability. And he knows blind shots. Now the nice thing about gun, um, about gunners is they have huge range. Gunner abilities uh, ignore obstacles. Uh, normal, uh, normally a gunshot would be blocked by the terrain as an obstacle. He doesn't have to worry about that if he uses just blind shot all the time. And obviously it can blind people. And then black magic as a secondary. He doesn't have very high weapon attack or magic power, but it's it's decent enough, and they're about equal. And Marsh is a thief, because I want to learn all the thief abilities. Maintenance prevents his own equipment from being stolen or destroyed. He knows steel gill, shield, and accessory. And hopefully more soon. After that, I want to make him a ninja for the... Uh, not necessarily the ninja abilities, although they can be decent. But mostly, later on, he can use... He can learn an ability to have two weapons instead of a, sh a weapon and a shield. Okay, and we want to examine the enemies. So one thing, especially later on, we'll see that more is... Oh, he's got a good weapon. Curved blades, maximum lethality. He can steal helm, gill, experience, JP, and counter attack. So later on we're going to want to investigate their enemies a lot because they might have some stuff that's useful for stealing. Like here, this magic ring. If we can steal that, if we can blind him and then try to steal accessory, we could take that magic ring. That could be useful. And later on in the game there are also enemies that uh, have equipment that is unique. See, it's 6 versus 3, but that's because they're... Relatively, they were high level, but we've trained enough to where they're ac we're actually on par, if not better, than them. Who do you think you are? Get him! Clan Borzoi, we're taking you down. Yes, we are. 
Another item that I wanted to uh, tell you that I got is I have a Mithril Shot, which is um, a Great Bow. Great Bows are for snipers and hunters, so normal archers can't use them. Um, the interesting thing about the Archer class is that, you know, it's it's Human and Viera and they learn the same stuff, but they then turn into two different classes. The Sniper and the Hunter are quite different, but they use the same weapons. Um, but they could use the learn the combo from that as well. See, I could just throw fire at him. But I will boost instead. Just to get more damage next time if I get in melee range. Shootmire can move up. Now to show you, for example, how... Let's see how strong Kira could heal anyone. 49. See, that's a lot of HP. Um, and we're just gonna wait, because we're not really in a that close of a range. Well, one thing we might want to look for, this is always good, is to see their white mage. What does he know? Cure, Esuna, which is uh, clearing status abilities, status effects. Shell, uh, protect from magic damage and protect this uh, melee damage protection. And I'm going back in this menu, I know. We can also ex uh, examine their class. Aggressive clan seeking to expand their turf. You always get some flavor text that uh, it might be fun if you care about it. Now, just throw, throw Thunder, Thunder on him and see if that works. That's pretty good. So yeah, they're not going to be much of a challenge at all for us. I think Air Render can hit him if we just stand right here. And it has the potential to destroy him in one hit. It doesn't, but that's okay. We're very, very close. Now it might be actually difficult to... to Get a range to steal. We're gonna try. Blind shot. We're gonna have to move up. So Mont Blanc can move up. Now white mages don't have very good evasion. So there's a decent chance we will hit him. And the train, like I said, doesn't block his shot here. It misses. And then there's also a chance it doesn't cause a status effect. So you'll see those, those sort of purple dots. That's like a sign that, that that's the regular animation for this attack. And then you'll see a little, um, like a, a symbol twirling around their head. Like kind of like uh, what you see in a cartoon when someone's confused. You know, a little bit like that. And, and when you see that, it means it will also cause the status effect. Hopefully I can demonstrate that to you in just a bit. Um, I actually can't melee attack them because I think my staff heals. Here, like, I'll show you. There we go. Okay, she can move up and just wait. We want to get in range of their warrior. He can do a lot of damage probably, but so can we. White mages are always tough. Um, later on, they're, they're more of a pain. That's why you want to examine their abilities, because you always want to find out, like, what can they do? If you're... I mean, this game isn't too difficult at all, but uh, you might want to know, like, hey, can they... Um, are they able to cast revive, uh, like a revive spell or something along those lines? Or if they have offensive magic, like, do they have something that I'm strong to or weak against? Because what you could do is if you, for example, know that the enemy is an ice mage, you know, equip something that absorbs ice damage and then you're at an obvious advantage. Because you get, even when, you know, you're selecting your characters, you still can change their class and equipment right before the battle starts. The Marsh doesn't have any sort of ranged ability, so he's just gotta keep moving and hope for the best. Okay, you can do 
an air render on Rooster. That's a nice name. That dude is called Rooster, apparently. But he's also low level. You saw he at level 6. So it's like, oh, he's a strong character. You know, warriors have a lot of HP. But we've already got him down to half health, basically. We're not worried about power break. Attack down, whatever. Okay, Mont Blanc, you can move over there. We should have some better odds now that we're shooting from the sides here at 80%. There you go. That's what I was talking about, the little things going around his head. That should mean he's blinded now. Now he's tough. This this thief has a high da um, uh, damage rate, but also he's attacking one of our magic classes, so he's gonna have um, a higher damage rate. Just a regular attack, misses, he counterattacks, and he hits. And our uh, boost is faded away, so that sucks. War Rose here, we're gonna go behind him. Let's throw arrow on him, and you'll see. Uh, you see that we're at a disadvantage as a magic class anyway because we have very low MP to cast any spells. But he's down. What does he have to say? How could this happen? Well, you weren't strong enough, buddy. You didn't level up enough. Cooper can cast Essena on himself, I just realized, which is probably what he's doing right now. And he's also now far enough away that we can't get in range to steal, so move up, wait, and move up, can we cast something? Not really. Wait. Move up. Counter? No, let's do... Uh, what if we try beat down? All or nothing attack. It worked. Great. So as you saw, that was a damage boost, but at a reduced accuracy. But it wasn't terrible. Okay, Mont Blanc, you go and wait. You don't actually blind him just yet. Because we want to make sure we can get into range. Immobilize. That could be very useful, if it hits. And it does. Although... He can cure himself of that again next turn. And he probably will, because that's his only option. No, he's going to try to attack. And we're fine with that. Uh, steel. Steel accessory. 80% chance. Um, okay, we'll try that. There we go. Magic ring. Nice. We can give that to uh, well, any of our magic classes. You just wait. Because the magic ring should boost magic, at least magic power. Maybe also magic defense. But we'll find out in a minute. Okay, now it's time to go night night. Well, I guess not. We don't do enough damage for that. Time to go night night forever. And we won the battle. We'll have peace in Sprum once more. 
Okay, let's see what uh, what we just got. So we got some money. Clan levels up. That's also good, I think. New unit wants in the clan. David, a thief. Um, sorry, I can easily get more people later. So Sprom is now freed, so now we have both of the cities that we have access to are part of our clan territory. Um, here, shoot my do you have... Yes, you have space for this. It's magic ring. See, power and resistance up. Three points. Ten points for resistance, three points for power. Not bad. Not, not bad at all. Here, ring engraved magic enhancing symbols. So, and we got it for free, so not complaining at all. Save my game. Okay, what's the next quest that we want to do? Uh, Professor in trouble. Professor Augie. He's been gone to the Lucia Pass for three days now. Maybe he's lost or buried in an avalanche. We'll get some soup and money. 4,000 gil is pretty good. We'll bring the sprinkler, because we can't bring anything else. But after that, we should be able to bring the soup. It's good for 25 days. Fight color magic. Um, this is a, that would be a problem because the f you cannot use the fight command. That's the against the law. Then, Adel would be better our items. So we're gonna just walk past it. See items. See color magic just means red, blue, black, white, whatever. Domi came back and we got the homework. And we leveled up a skill. So we get a detective skill or investigation skill or whatever. It doesn't really get named. As far as I know. Okay, let's see what he's up against. So we gotta protect him. He's level 4. Guinness, Colin, and Lyle. If you remember, those were the names of the school playground bullies. In the tutorial. And then we have uh, two flans. Now they're really low level because this quest, even though it was a high rank, because it's difficult when you first get it, uh, for now, now it's easy for us. Because it's here, Ice Flan, he's got 22 HP, he's got a lot of magic, he can cast Blizzard, but if we cast Fire on him, he's dead. Uh, let's uh, examine here Ice Flan. Blue jelly like monsters absorb ice damage. And then a zombie. Lost one. Spirit of a person lost in the snows. N do you have the same one? Yes. And then Augie here is a, a sage, I think? Yes. Learned users of sag sagacious magic? I don't know how you pronounce that. Beastmaster and white mage. Oh, that should mean that's... Um, that's actually something we want. If not, our... One Numo character. We want someone else to be able to learn Sage Powers because Sage Powers are pretty darn good. He's only got Drain. Steals health and to your HP. Yeah, okay. That's not what I wanted to do. I want to select characters. Domi is fine. Shootmire, I want in there as well. Because, you know, white magic will destroy the undead, but also their exorcism ability. Mont Blanc. Oh, now I have six. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, I guess Augie counts as one. Um, instead of you. Mariette, because you can cast fire. Defeat all enemies. So this is one of those where you have a guest character and you have to protect them. So it's really difficult in the, uh, the very early game, or it can be anyway, 
because they have magic powers. Zombies get up again after a couple turns if uh, you don't destroy them. Well, you, you can you destroy them, but then after three turns they get back up, so you need to make sure that you destroy all enemies at the same time fairly quickly. Um, and you don't control Augie, so you just have to do rush forward and do your best. We'll just stand in front of him and try to protect his body as best we can. Montblanc doesn't have a lot of movement range. We could blind one of the zombies. Let's try that. Well, we damaged him at least. Okay, we want to try to get our exorcisms off. And there's also an ability that uh, archers can learn called burial. Burial will also destroy undead, but it's it doesn't have a very high hit rate because it is a ranged attack on that. I don't know about exorcism, but we can try it. Here you see why I shouldn't have brought the sprinkler. Because it does boost their damage as well, but I guess we're fine. It didn't really uh, damage us or hit, uh, hit most of us anyway. Yeah, good luck getting hit off on Marsh. So what's Augie gonna do? He's probably gonna... Oh, there we go. He's gonna drain. Oh, that could destroy him in one hit. Yeah, and it works. That's some pretty powerful stuff. Now just the zombies left to destroy. So I'm hoping that we can use our exorcism abilities or here Cura it misses okay maybe just attack him from the back that should hit for about half is it okay never mind How about you? Exercise. Wow, that's a very low hit rate. Just try to damage them. It seems strange that it would have such a low hit rate, but Maybe it's good in some way. Okay, um... Blizzard. Yeah, that should hit. Deal some damage to him. I think they have a drain spell as well, where they can suck health out of you. Right, <laughs> there you go. Drain touch. But we've we can out damage them all day long, so it's just a matter of time. We can cast another Cura. Um, who would I want to get it off? No. Or actually, we can try to just use Exercise, because I want it. To, I want to hit it at least once on one of these guys. Oh my gosh. 
Yeah, I want to be able to hit it at least once. I just want to see if it, uh, if they, because hopefully it actually destroys them to, in a way that doesn't bring them back. But I don't know that for sure. What? How'd you dodge that? Okay, maybe this time it'll hit. Yes. Oh my gosh, it it, it did. It did completely destroy him. So there's no no body left. That is pretty cool. See, that's what happens if you normally fight and kill a zombie. There's a, obviously there's a body left, but you also see that three. That's that timer uh, before he comes back. Can we blind him? Might be immune to some status effects. Let's just uh, throw Kira and uh, maybe it'll hit. It does not hit. But if we destroy him like this. No, okay, never mind. I was gonna say that it's all over anyway. Just hit him in the back. And that's that taken care of as well. Everyone's worried about you. Let's get back right away. Now, I don't think you'll see Augie talk much in the in the game because he shows up a couple of times. But we will see him again. Usually in trouble. So a lot of people mastered a skill. So let's see. He's mastered abilities. Give him the Kaiser Knuckles. Because we want him to uh, learn Air Render next. I think that's good. She knows Cure, and I have a, I think I have a next Rapier lined up. Or Fire now. Poison. There we go. Next, that's going to be the next spell for her to learn. Neville, you, you're still working on it, aren't you? Yes, you're very close, but... Schudmeyer just started learning, so he's almost halfway. Marsh knows how to steal an accessory now, so... Steel Shield is something we already know. So he's basically done for now. There's no new abilities that I can't have him learn right now. You know a gun combo. And we don't have other guns, so we might want you to just change your job. Maybe we just want you as a black mage. Um... And then learn, because uh, you only know, yeah, you only knew Fire, Thunder, Blizzard. So now, if we get him some advanced spells, um, instead of gunmanship, because now you're that's that's gonna be a melee attack. I want you to call because then you could also use a sleep spell. Sheep count, catnip, and block arrows. Green beret. Okay, um, you can wear the chain plate. 
I think we'll do that. That'll be fine. We've got the rod. Defense and attack. Now, with the gauntlets, I don't see you need needing those. How about you? You've already got loads of accessories. You can't wear gauntlets, can you? No, you can. 189. 87. 184. Yeah, Marsh, Marsh can wear them right now. That's fine. Awesome. And we want to sort our items. Oh, no. Automatically. Actually, we can show you that down here we've just got some more new weapons here. The conch shell. Uh, which... Rock Beast for a Beastmaster, and the Kotetsu for a ninja or an assassin. Very good. Okay, so we got some more main quests done. Now on to the next, uh, in the next episode. So thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.